Alex asks, uh, what is the best way to keep security and not allow someone who is a SharePoint admin to add themselves to a secure team? I had a few ideas, but I wasn't sure if, if they were good ideas. Create a separate SharePoint site collection and have that team assigned to the site collection. Find a policy that forces a non-site owner to have no read or write permission to change access. Create a notification rule if a user is added or removed that it notifies the site owner. If anyone has any other ideas, please let me know. This is something that comes up over and over again. And, you know, administrators need to be able to administer content, administer systems, and that gives them certain privileges and rights. And it comes down to governance. It's going to be a policy that's established and that's going to be backed up by some form of auditing and logging. That's the only thing that really can solve this. I mean, you can try and build a better mouse trap and lock the admins out of some sort of area, but it really gets into a kind of a shell game. You just got to be honest with yourselves up front and say, listen, we need this to be only these people. We're going to monitor the logs, look at things. And, you know, if we see that somebody has joined it, you know, we're going to have a conversation. So. Well, this is one of those categories where I, again, look, as working for an ISV that has solutions around this that have a more graceful answer to that. Because you're right, the data is there, it's capturing it, but then you need to have access and go through that and see if those people that shouldn't have accessed were accessing that those assets and what they did once they were in there. And right. so, right. you know, with third-party tools, like we've got a, a couple, our cloud gov and our, uh, and our policies, products where it can actually you can set up those rules and those alerts around those so that you can say anybody who's an admin who has administrative access around those things but actually goes in and what they're doing it can notify a manager notify somebody else if there are those concerns um, so there's things that you could do and to take action just to notify just to track and provide a report around those things so there are a lot of things that you could do which are all made possible because the system is tracking and capturing that data within the audit logs. Yeah. So if I heard you right, Christian, uh, when you first started out in that that long explanation, um, you you said <laughs> that you said you made the comment that uh, you know or inferred, I should say, that Sean isn't graceful. <laughs> Guys, is that, I'm I'm so that was very perceptive of you to pick up on that. I. Uh, I didn't want to say anything before, but um, maybe uh, we should take this offline. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for that. That's I'm going to go cry in the corner. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a, this is one of those things where I think more and more as organizations become more and more reliant on these kinds of collaboration and information management systems, you need to be more thoughtful around these things. It's uh, as much as you can automate as possible um, versus, I mean, you just have to be very proactive and intentional about doing it through the native experiences. It takes a lot of digging. You're going in between multiple admin uh, 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 sites, you know, pages. It's, it, it's, it's not all in one place to track that behavior and be able to go and then do something about it. And so that's where you start to see the value. If I can ring my own bell of an ISV solution to automate a lot of those activities so that you can do all that with your one admin. Ding, 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 shameless plug. Ding, 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 shameless yep. plug. Ring that bell. <laughs>